What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be taking a look at this gameplay here. I'm playing with my free to play account. I'll show you the squad there in a second right because we do have to make some changes but I kind of want to talk about two things right. So the gameplay is on in the background. It is a fairly good comeback. We get a bit lucky here and there but I want to talk about two things. The first thing is can you compete if you are playing 100% free to play against guys that are obviously spending money or that have got, you know, really good squads. Now, I have a couple of matches that I can show you. Um, I think the biggest problem with the game at the moment is the entry into getting these legends. You know, if you're not going to spend money on coins or if you're not actually going to pump in real life money and invest into it financially, you don't have an option to spin, right? And that's why you've got players like Cantona and players like Dennis Law and players like Vieira that if you are coming up against them, you definitely have to limit the, the chances that you're given to these opponents. Because, you know, obviously we're playing against an opponent here. He's pretty decent. I mean, he's fairly, fairly cutthroat in terms of how he's actually attacking us. It's very direct. Now, we're playing with this squad here that you see. So we've got everybody free. I haven't spent a cent on this account here, right? We've got nominating contract players. We've got a couple of the player of the weeks that we got for free. Um, we've got Marcus Turam up front. You know, we've got a couple of players that are decent, but, you know, you're not going to be able to compare a midfield that is free to play against the likes of Patrick Vieira and Davids. And then at the back, you're talking about Gilberto Silva. You've got Tommy Ashu big time. So you kind of have to be very careful when you're playing against guys like this. And it does improve you if you're able to kind of beat them. Because a lot of the time is, right, if you are looking to beat guys like this, you have to be very patient and not give the ball away. And you'll see just how open we are here at the back, right? Leo Messi as well up here. We have to do a lot of manual defending. Now, what I will say is when you are playing against most people that have a better squad than you and they see that they have a better squad than you, they do, it is very important that you don't go goals down such as I've done here. Now, there is a way back. Obviously, it's just by patience. You've seen we've made a couple of changes and there, that could have been a goal there if we got a little bit luckier. But you are going to have to be very patient and have different things going on. And this is one question I get all the time from people that are just starting the game. You know, how can I compete? Well, I would say that without going too much into it, right, to tactically set your team up, you have to be capable of holding the ball and reading what the opposition is doing, right? So I kind of figured in this 40 minutes on the clock, I've started to notice right here that the opponent is kind of standing off me. He's not manually defending. He's letting the AI defend a lot of the time. And that's not kind of a, you know, a criticism of any opponent that does it. You know, I let the AI defend for me sometimes as well, but most of the time I'm very active on the pads when I have the ball in these dangerous areas. You know, you have to be, not just for winning the ball back as we do here, but also, you know, for starting counterattacks. Now, that's a very high-risk pass here. But as I said, I've already noticed that this opponent that we're playing, right? That could have been 3-1 there, and it would have been my own fault. And instead, we go back up here, and we're going to tie the game out. Now, I've noticed in the last play or two, since this opponent has been defending me, right? He's letting the AI kind of defend. So he's coming so far, as you see, with Dixon there, and then going back. So we're going to tie him up, and then we're not going to be push being pushed too far out the pitch. We're not going to be aggressively pushed, kind of standing off. So that's when you kind of have to mix in a couple of long range chances or a couple of crosses. A lot of people as well. I have a video done on the, the meta, which is obviously long ball counter or quick counter. But a lot of people don't like when you actually, how will I say it? They don't like when you kind of hold the ball. And I'm not talking about holding the ball at the back. Again, this is some nice dribbling. And that could have been a goal on another day as well at the rebound. It just wasn't lucky enough for the opponent are unlucky enough for the opponent. Uh, I got lucky there, but that could have been a 3-2 uh, deficit there for me again. But what I've noticed is a lot of the time is when an opponent is used to defending you uh, kind of like centrally, they kind of do switch off out wide and they also kind of switch off when they don't press you too high up the pitch. And that's when I think free accounts. Anybody that I've ever come up to, I've played and lost to some fantastic players that have got a free-to-play account, you know, that they haven't spent a, a cent on the game. And what they do is, it's not so much what they do, and it's not so much what I'm doing in this game, that I'm kind of doing anything mesmerizing, or I'm doing anything absolutely insane, um, or anything like that. I just kind of, since we conceded that second goal, we've just kind of limited the chances. And even saying that, even with us playing well, look at this chance here that just graphs open. It's a lovely finish, a tucked away finish. As I said, this guy that we're playing is not a bad player at all. But at the end of the day, man, you can see that the, the kind of gaps in his defending are because he's not used to defending out wide. You know, that there, when you are defending out wide, 
you have to be very manually tuned in because the AI have a weakness out, out, out wide, right? And that's something that I've noticed a lot is that when you bring players out to the deep waters, most of them don't wear life jackets, boys. They don't. And I think that that's kind of where the game, I think, needs to go a little bit more to break up that current meta. Well, I would say the current meta. The current meta has been the meta for years. And it's not going to change unless Konami change it. But this video kind of proves that you can actually, you know, you can compete. Like, obviously, you know, I've beaten teams that are, like, much better than this. This is not even, like, you know, an absolute god squad. But, um, you know, you're talking about Mike alone. You're talking about Vieira. You're talking about Davids. You're talking about Tommy Yashu, Seaman and Goals. And we do actually pull away here. Now, this is a bit of luck here. Again, look at how many chances have come from out wide. And just being a little bit patient. This is why I don't trust Seaman and Goals, lads. He's just not commanding in the area. I don't know what it is. That's obviously a little bit of a bug there, but... I don't trust Seaman, lads, in goals, honestly. I think Czech or Schmeichel is going to save that. Or even Courtois. Donnarumma has kind of got this issue at the moment as well, where they just don't come out and get the ball. So it's a good victory for us, but I hope that does answer the question, lads. Can you compete? Yes, you can, man. You can compete with, with teams like this. My biggest issue with the game from a free-to-play kind of perspective, it is kind of that there's just no... There's no, like... Uh, entry you know there's no pathway no matter how much if you have lots of time or you have lots of money you know you you are kind of with the money side of things right if you're pumping in money into the game you're gonna just have a, a big bench and a big squad of brilliant players that when they're nerfed or when they're boosted or when they're buffed or whatever you want to call it you know if blitz curler is buffed uh if hedden is buffed or if something is nerfed you have a lot of players that you can draw on right rather than the free-to-play players and I would just like to see an entry point where it's going to cost GP instead of just coins. Maybe it costs GP. Even if it's expensive, even if it's like a million or two million GP to spin a 10-pack. At least it would be something that you could kind of have an entry point into and get a couple of lucky spins. Uh, you know, and even at that, I've also talked about the free players that they've been given lately. Comparing Costa Corta versus some of the new free players that they're given. I think that the new free players that they're given, they just don't compete and don't compare to the old, you know, Neymar Santos, uh, Costa Corta, Beckenbauer. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Obviously, it is a debate, you know, it is a debate that I see a lot of people asking me in all their streams. Because there's a lot of new players coming over from the last couple of weeks. So, yeah, we will have a couple of more videos like this. We have a load on our free-to-play account of kind of God Squad killings. So, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will talk to you in a bit. And let me know what way you're playing the game at the moment. Are you playing with, like, you know, ball to the wall, like every strong player that you can possibly have? Or are you having fun with a little bit of experimentation with free-to-play? Or a mixture of both? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.